Sindar Prime is the Empire's capital city, a large megacity that extends dozens of miles across a great plateau and holds untold millions of its citizens, with a true census having not been conducted in over a century. Roads and caves are cut through the rock, as over the years many subterranean levels of the city have been built extending to the base. While the true depths are unknown, the deepest levels contain cults and gangs hiding from the law, and perhaps hold things much worse. The Pit Fighting Federation, a league of arena warriors, have their headquarters built within the capital. Comprised of a giant gauntlet upon a tower of black stone, the judges and composers of the great competitions are housed within. Considered the Federation's main form of entertainment, they host games across the Empire and even across the galaxy as local and regional warriors compete for the silver discs, a single silver band they can wear as a crown, stating they are the champions of the region. Matches can be fought in cages or arenas and can last till one fighter taps out, becomes pinned, knocked out, or fight to the death, often decided on beforehand. Arenas can be held over pits, contain traps, or even host dozens of fighters in a single match, often playing to the crowds or judges' whims. However, once a year the PFL hosts the championship games at the capital, where champions and regional heroes compete for the golden disc, the winner bringing home great wealth and fame and becoming the champion of all the Federation. For the last 10 years, one man has retained control of the Golden Disc, a huge human warrior known as the Iron Gargant, a winner of 500 battles, and has been declared unbeatable as no one has survived a challenge, and he has personally defeated all the Silver Disc champions of every Federation world. The Federation is ruled over by Emperor Philistine and Empress Constantina Cantelia. The Cantelias are known to be decent rulers, having a mild love for the people, but are weak, often lacking the leadership to guide the Federation through its challenges and manage the vast resources they still bring in. The founding families have been mostly forgotten, their great houses nothing more than historical footnotes among the greatest libraries. Scattered across the Empire and Galaxy, only a few members of the once great houses have been tracked down or hold minor power, their origins lost among the Hall of Records, mostly burned or destroyed during the Great Insanity. Much of the power instead falls into the Elemental Oil Barons, who siphon the Elemental Gel from the planets and process it into Elemental Fuel. They hold sway in the courts and often bribe locals much to the frustration of the Druid Orders, who try to change the over-exploitation of the planets. The elemental oil barons often have mega estates built around the city. Like many corporations that tower over the cityscape, they are greedy with powerful personal houses and privatized armies and contain most of the personal fleets that trade among the worlds. Both the lifeline of the Federation and its cancer, druid circles often try to stop the most extreme barons, but are often too powerless to confront them head on. Sindara Prime is also unique with the only cathedrals built within the Federation. Dedicated to the Spark and Brandabos, both of which will be explained in further videos, the clergy's power, while dominant in the capital, often falls flat outside the region, as many in the Federation have lost their belief in the spiritual realm and have become more worldly. The Church of the Spark often allies with Druid circles, forming an inquisition and often inspect oil baron shipments as a private police force. They attempt to build gardens in clean areas of the city and break the oil baron's hold on various districts, often battling with the baron's hired armies in the open streets. The Church of Brandabos controls the shipyards, building steamships for the barons and contain the Scion clergy, psionic beings dressed as swashbucklers whose minds pick up on the ethereal currents that pass between worlds and sharp passages between chaotic space. They more often than not join the oil baron's side, even battling with the Church of the Spark, as profits for the barons means profits for them. Finally, we get to the Great Light, a beacon that is both ancient and mysterious, 
said to be built pre-Federation. It is a tower of black metal that stands at the center of the city and within contains a single light. Guarded by the Blind Legion, a group of warriors would know sight and use echolocation to sense opponents that let no one gaze upon the light as it is said to hold the secret of the galaxy and one glimpse will send one mad with the truth. Many theories pass between groups upon what the truth is, but what is agreed upon, even the spark refused to see what was inside, trying to destroy the beacon, and when no magic and ability could cause even a single dent, the spark instead founded the Order of the Blind so no one would learn of the true nature of the galaxy, otherwise known as the truth. For more information on the churches of the Federation, please refer to upcoming crystal recordings the Church of Brandebos, and the Church of the Spark. <laughs>